Trump tour. Governor Greg Abbott hosts former President Donald Trump here at the border. Why the governor says Texas has to do something about border security right here in the Valley. And the other side. Not everyone wanted this visit to happen. What local civil rights groups thinks needs to happen instead? Local 24 News at 4 starts now. From South Padre Island to Rio Grande City, this is Local 23 News at 4. Do they really want open borders? Or are they incompetent? There's only two things. You're either incompetent or for some reason you have a screw loose and you want to have open borders. That was former President Donald Trump speaking live in Westlaco just a few hours ago. Good afternoon, Valley. Thank you so much for joining us on Local 23 News at 4. I'm Sydney Hernandez. We have a packed newscast for you today with the latest from the former president's visit to the RGV. The former president visiting with Governor Greg Abbott talking about the border wall built during his administration, as well as an increase in fentanyl and other drugs coming across the border. And our Sydney Gray was there when the former president spoke. She joins us now live from the scene with more on Trump's visit. Sydney. Hey, Sydney, good afternoon. I'm here in far at the border wall that you guys can see behind me, where the former President Trump's made claims about the wall and how it's unfinished right now. Now, as we heard throughout the president's speech, the former president, that is, pre uh, the former president did blame the Biden administration and Democrats for the unfinished wall. Trump also talked about the border wall structure. Now, he made repeated claims about the fact that the wall is rusting and that it needs to be repainted to a darker color like black in order to deter migrants from crossing. At a roundtable discussion with other county sheriffs and congressmen from other states, Trump discussed drug issues that he says are plaguing not only the valley, but the entire country. He also says there has been a sharp rise in the number of fentanyl apprehensions. Fentanyl was almost a non-factor, and now I hear it's just pouring into our country, and it's the most dangerous of all, but just pouring into our country. And we stopped also uh, human trafficking, mostly in women. Uh, the human trafficking was almost stopped. We built almost 500 miles of wall, despite uh, two and a half years of lawsuits, litigation, started by Congress, Nancy Pelosi and the Congress. They sued us for everything. I was going to build a... Steve McCraw, the head of the Texas Department of Public Safety, also spoke on drugs impacting border towns and the rest of the state, saying they've seen a 2000 percent increase in fentanyl apprehensions. Now, of course, we also heard from Governor Abbott, who did call out President Biden for not getting that wall finished that you see behind me. The governor is still trying to raise money here in the state to finish building that border wall. Putting local first live in far. I'm Sydney Gray. Sydney, thank you so much for that report. And just like she said, during Trump's visit, Governor Abbott agreed that the border is in fact in worse condition than it was last year. The governor saying illegal immigration has increased dramatically, blaming the Biden administration for making it easier to cross and not enforcing immigration laws. From January 2020 to January of 2021, there was a 527% increase in apprehensions here at the border. Right now, there are at least 1,200 Texas DPS troopers assigned to Operation Lone Star helping with the border. This May versus last May, uh, the increase of people coming across the border who've been apprehended has gone up more than 800 percent in just that May over May. And in, in April, it was the exact same thing. Uh, we see something that needs to put in context because you hear Vice President Harris uh, talk about uh, going down to the Northern Triangle as if uh, solving the problem in those three countries is going to solve the problem with regard to the border. She is misleading America because the fact of the matter is there are people coming into the United States across our border from more than 150 countries across the entire globe. And hundreds of Trump supporters rallied outside of where the former president was speaking to show their support for him today. Check it out. This video we're about to show you was taken outside of Hidalgo County, where supporters gathered with flags and posters, hoping to catch a glimpse of the former president. Many of them who call the Valley home say they support the wall and they want it finished. The Republicans wanted to do the immigration reform 
and the Democrats never agree. So the Democrats, I myself personally find them in fault for a lot of the problems in immigration and especially the war. More than 1,000 cars lined the streets in different areas of the valley to su show support for the former president. And while many supporters rallied, there were also protests against the visit. Lupe, an immigration activist group in the valley, held their own border town hall where they accused the former president of splitting the community apart. About 100 people gathered there to say they're against the wall and against Governor Greg Abbott's push to finish it. You know, Governor Abbott brought Fox News and he brought Trump, so clearly he wants a lot of publicity to keep spreading his lies about our community. And so this, uh, this event is an attempt to counter that. Advocates are asking Governor Abbott to focus on other problem areas like flooding and improve the infrastructure. Today, $910,000 worth of drugs was seized by customs officers at the Brownsville Port of Entry. CBP officers seized four packages of meth and one package of cocaine hidden within a truck trying to cross the border. In a separate seizure, 25 packages of cocaine was found in a Ford truck trying to cross over.